Hey guys, welcome back to Coker Culture and welcome back to WWE 2K22 My Rise with Granola Hawk. Um, I did spend some time upgrading the move set to match more of the character that I was looking for, so I can't wait to test that out. You guys can see that our fans have gone up. We are a baby face. We do have some upgrade points that we can use, and we'll look to use those here in just a second if we can. We'll also check out social media and see what's going on there. In the last episode, we fell to Paragon J. Pierce but then we're able to get some comeuppance in a mixed tag match alongside uh, the goddess Alexa Bliss against Paragon and Asuka. And then yours truly took down the Florida Gator Titus O'Neil in a 10 minute um, basically Iron Man match uh, and shut him out. So let's see what's going on. Check here socials. So Titus doesn't have anything to say now does he? Nope. Alexa. Yeah, she says Granola Hawk can hang any time with her. You go, Granola Hawk. If there's anybody else. Nope, nothing new there. Who's in the DMs? Oh, we've got several to check out here. So, HBK. Coach Sean. What's Coach Sean have to say? Oh, I can see it's you. Uh, good. Decide to work non-televised match on NXT? Absolutely. Take that first step. Yes, sir. I've got NXT, so you guys get to see the debut of the Granola Hawk. I would think, even though this is non-televised, the fact that it is NXT, it'll be at the Capitol Wrestling Center, and it will be the NXT crowd and therefore you guys will get to see the full Granola Hawk get up that you did not get to see in episode one of this series. Yep, there's NXT. Nope. Still no Granola Hawk outfit. The it's coming, guys. Is I promise. One fall. A little skip through. No music, no entrance. Who am I fighting? Danny Burke. Yeah. And then to y'all can tell I've got the music turned off. Prevent the copyright. Getting started. Oh. That's not how I want to start. That is. Alright, Danny. Sorry, you've got to be the first one to test my moves out on. Hope you guys like the new and improved Granola Hawk. What are we doing here? A little 450 action. Real quick one count. There's a little sidewalk plan. See if I can keep this in control. I do like it. It's the old NXT setup back during the pandemic. You can see that they still have the fencing up separating the fans and the performers. I did keep this move because I like that. No surprise there. Is going to be a rope break? No, he just he kicked out before one. All right, Danny Burst, I see you. Little backbreaker. And a stretch. get into some of these heavier attacks. Yes, sir. Yeah. I like it when we connect from the top rope. I went with some stuff that'll damage the head and body. That just goes more towards 
So you guys will notice with my finisher when we get there. It just fits the granola hop much better. some submissions just in case I get in a submission style match I want to have something all right he's getting out of that that's okay we've got our special oh wow all right then I see you little mouth of punches that his face is in the red, that his head is in the red, that's where I want him, that his body's in the red, that he's doing good, I'm bleeding. Now the country must have done that, he's covering me, should be a little break, but I'll still press the button. There we go. Get myself a little separation. I'll take that. He can't beat me out here anyway. I 
know I'm seeing in that move. I apologize, guys, but I like it. Okay, it didn't even give me a chance to reverse that. Again, I'm almost too late. He's breaking me up. This is what came before it. And then again, he's killing me. Oh. Again, struggling against Danny Burt, just like I struggled against Paragon J. Pierce. And that's that. Wonderful. I need to get out of the ring. I need to do something. Oh, a little slap, a little kick. Mounted punches. This is not going the way I want it right now. I do have another special. And he is yanking it in. Hopefully I'll be able to fight back. It looks like I will this time. I gotta get a comeback going because if I don't, if I don't get a comeback going, then he puts me in a submission of cover. out. He passed out. I won by submission. I will take that all day long. Wow, didn't see that coming. Renova Hawk is your winner. Woo! One tough match out of the way. Thank you, Coach Sean, for giving me this opportunity. Much appreciated. Your winner is the Granola Hawk. I wanted them to introduce me as like the Hawk or something like that, but it wasn't an option. So they call me, it'll be the Falcon, which is okay. It's close enough. It's still birds. Ready to be out of these PC clothes, though, and in my ring attire. To show you guys that and what that looks like. All right, still haven't talked to the old V-O-double-G. Let's check out the attribute upgrades before I even go into, okay, five, so I can do something. Let's upgrade for defense. Because yours truly has been struggling on that front. Once well, more on the socials. Get back in the DMs. All right, lucky break, mate. Well fought, still counts as an NXT debut. Thank you so much there, Danny Birch. Appreciate the kind words. Coach is proud that I backed up against Titus O'Neil. What's Chase got to say, Ribby? Do I want to go to an indie show with Chase? Don't want to get in trouble. I'm going to decline. Sorry, buddy. Don't want to get in trouble. Extra credit homework assignment from the D-O-double-G. What would that be? Study a Legends match. Yes, I will absolutely watch a Legends match. Who do you want me to watch? Hulk, Macho Man, Brett the Hitman Hulk. Uh, I'll go with the Macho Man. Oh, yeah. I was never a big Brett the Hitman Hart fan. I know a lot of folks love him, but again, if you watched my last playthrough, I told you guys Shawn Michaels was my favorite wrestler growing up, and he was, of course, on the complete opposite side of the spectrum in rivalry from Brett the Hitman Hart. So, sorry guys. Love the Hart family. Love Jim the Anvil Nightheart. 
loved Owen Hart. Just was never a Brett fan. I can appreciate what he did for the business and how great of a wrestler he was. Just wasn't a fan. All right, so I guess I am fighting Macho Man. I have to see how this goes. This will be interesting. Still haven't talked to Road Dog. All my matches are happening in the DMs. So y'all slide in the DMs. SummerSlam 88. Oh, yeah, I was three years old. Ah, and y'all get to see the Granola Hawk outfit. There the it is. The following contest is scheduled for I got the frills on the boot. Making his way to the ring. Yes, sir. You know the Hawk. Weighing in at 200 and profiling. pounds. The Falcon. I had to Going make it fit the, the, the persona. Baron Corbin and I definitely think along. it fits the persona. Here comes the Macho Man. This won't be the same. Not here in pomp and circumstance. When he comes out. Y'all can imagine. Oh, yeah. All right, I have a feeling this is going to be a little tougher than my matches against uh, Danny Burt, Titus O'Neil, and the Paragon J. Pierce. Did I just make him beat the first move of the match? I don't think so. That'd be very 80s wrestling if it was, though. But my question is, will he be able to stay focused and not get distracted by outside agitators? I, I don't like to that you have one Corey. opportunity to reverse like that, and that's what you do. You miss that, and you're done. There's no secondary time to reverse. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Up high. Got him. Whoa, not quite yet. And I love that. He gave me the ability to hold him as long as I wanted to there. So I took the Got him advantage. set up in the corner of the ring. I'll throw him to the other corner. A little Enziguri. Got a little power mixed in with a little Lucha. We're not going to talk. He's just a little bit of everything. What are we doing, Granola? Oh, we're going to do the bounce 450. Right on the Macho Man. I like how Byron Saxton is still calling this match, even though he wasn't even born probably in age. No offense, Byron. Love your work, buddy. All right, come on. Up oh, late. So he punches me. And then I can't reverse, and I'm late here. It did give me two chances to reverse that, and I'm missing both. There we go. Oh. That was my bad. Bad ring positioning. Kick lands. He's looking a little off balance. Oh, come on. Be carried around with ease. I do not do well at carrying stuff. My reaction time is too slow right now. I'm not going to be upset if you didn't give me a chance to reverse Macho there. I'm not going to be upset if I end up losing to the Macho Man because I mean, it's the Macho Man. I wonder what year of Hogan is going to be fighting. Relentless assault from the Macho Man. I'm glad I didn't choose Bret Hart in this scenario simply because we all know how good that is with permission, and I have just been juggling badly with permission. Oh, right. That, that played out just in my favor at the right time. I was undone the second he left. Savage looked a bit distracted there. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Now it's time to pour it on the Macho Man here. Get my comeback going. Oh, superhuman power. Oh, 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 See if I'll get some more people in my corner. 
Stomping on him, stomping on him, stomping on him. This is gonna hurt. Right to the suplex. Pop him and do a move. Up across the shoulders. Yes, sir. Savage is running into trouble. And Noah Hawkins boys and ready. The Macho Man reverse it. Nope. And down goes the Macho Man. There we go. Maybe the boy is getting the hang of this after all. Victory at SummerSlam 88. I believe that was the uh, famous Macho Man Ricky the Dragon Steamboat event. Widely considered to be one of the greatest matches of all time. But I will take that victory after what I have been doing so far. What's the DO Double G say? People wonder what I mean I won my match. Yeah, that'd have been bad if I lost my match in my own imagination. Another, this time you're going to be two out of three in a handicap match. Yikes. So who am I facing now? Just me, myself, and I. I kind of struggled there. And now i got to fight two legends? Come on, Road Dog, Give the man a break. I know why he's doing this. He's doing this because I haven't talked to him yet. That's what this is all about. He's mad because he's got something to say to me at the PC, and I haven't spoken to him because I keep checking the socials. Well, I'm at Raw now. So who am I fighting? Here I come. In my full get up. Ready to go. Who are we fighting? Who's it going to be? The Rock? <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Let's start off great. Who am I fighting alongside The Rock? Who's The Rock's partner? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, your boy is about to take the biggest L of all time. There is how in the world am I supposed to be so cold, the, the rock. I mean, Jericho did it in one night, but you didn't fight them together. I have to fight them in a handicap. This is not fair. Adam Pierce, Road Dog, whoever booked this, the crowd loving it. But, and this is the kind of situation that somebody would put a baby face in, I'm sure. You know, a authority type that's a bad guy. I don't even know what that was. But the Rock had time to taunt you, boy. What are we doing here, boy? I don't know, but I like it. You messed with the Rock's feet. Yeah, we have the Rock taunt there. I like the fact that I'm just bringing it to the Rock. Again, in my dream, it doesn't matter though because it's still the rock from the game. Now he's a little kid in the No people in reverse so far. Nope. There we go. Let's pin. See what kind of account we can get. Okay. I was also curious to see if Austin would run in to make the save, and you see he obviously did. Um, I found out an interesting fact that not a lot of folks know. I'm going to do 10 beats of the Bowery here. Um, definitely thought I was still on the rock, though. Maybe he'll still be there and won't reverse whatever I do after I beat up Austin. Well, he knows the rock taking advantage. Um, in an actual tag team match, you're only allowed to come in and save your partner once. That's it. Once per match. That's all you get to break up a pin fall or a beat. Now, I'm sure it's not upheld. I'm sure that's something that, you know, overlooked quite a bit. But, uh, 
I guess me taking my eyes off the rock and giving off the tribute to the Bowser is going to be the downfall. Oh, it's ready to install the new version. Yeah, y'all just tag yourself in, tag yourself out. The Nova Hawk will be right here. Alright, at least the rock is the one that is lower of the two. Yes, sir. Time to get back to giving the rock a business backbreaker and oh, stretching. This is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Thank you, Michael Cole. Another thing that's oh, going on in the last week with Triple H and Charge, y'all may have noticed that Michael Cole has been fantastic on commentary. That's why he come in now. And that is illegal. But yeah, uh, Michael Cole has been incredible at the commentary booth. Been fascinating to listen to. Not the same Michael Cole, that's for sure. That means Rock reverse my finisher. Because of course he did. Oh, great. Double team. And now I gotta deal with a very fresh stone cold. Tapping fast and it's going to be anyway. Alright, Steve. Didn't even give me the opportunity. Alright, we're doing great. This is going fantastic. Bring in the rock. DDT, this is going perfect. Oh, the people. The people's elbow. Can I block this? Will it give me the opportunity? Nope. Gotta kick out, gotta kick out, gotta kick out, gotta kick out, gotta kick out. Gotta kick out. And they're still in this. Unreal. Kick out the people's elbow. Unreal, a kick out there. Not only unlikely. Still stun though. Oh, great. The rock just gonna put me in the start seat. And we all know how I feel about the Nathan Turner. Is he gonna tap? Is he gonna Not well. He's trying to hold on, but for how long? Your boy is fighting back, and I'm out of it. But you can see the work has been done. My, my health bar is toast. There we go. Beat six. The Rock does have another finisher already because he's the Rock and of course he does. This is a very I'm gonna pin him. He got the shoot up in time. Okay. Okay. Just test in the water. Judo throw! I don't know what you call that, but it hurt. He's got him here, he's got him up. Tag often. I gotta prevent that from happening. Oh, Austin didn't run in that time either. So that would have been perfect. Got him in the position. It's not about fair play. Austin's just standing there watching. If the rock taps. Austin doesn't know what to do. He would know it if this was a pin to break up. Oh, he's able to find him. Get the foul. Oh, crucial escape. 
right here. There we go. There we go. And there we go. First. He's just dominating at this point. There's a lot of I need to look and see how I uh, switch back, guys. I don't know how to, uh, how do I swap to see, display current target, swap team member. I can't switch back to the rock, so I'm hoping that button is how I do it. Um, carry, drag, object, pin, reposition opponent, change target. I just need to press it in. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Will that be it? What in Is the world? Unbelievable. I'm going to pin again. An awesome back here. And that did not go the way I wanted to at all. Oh god, that was so incredibly frustrating. And all because I don't know the control. Guys, do yourself a favor. Do a tutorial. Do something. Don't be me. Get yourself aware of what the buttons do before you have to fight in a match against two of the greatest of all time. Here we go. I'll hit him with another RKO. I'll get rid of Austin. He's going to reverse it. Nope, I did not have to finish it. It's over. Here we go. There it is. Woo, your boy took down two legends. So this episode, I've beaten the Macho Man Randy Savage. I've beaten The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin together. This has been a great episode for the Granola Hawk. I'd like to face the Paragon J. Pierce now, please, one-on-one. -on -one, because I feel like your boy could handle him. Um, we will be checking the DMs once more. See if there's anything else going on in there. If there's not, we'll finally talk to the D-O-double-G and see what he and anybody else in the PC have to say for us. Got some more fans, some more upgrade points, up to 5,000 fans. I don't think, nope, can't do anything there. Granola Hawk, I, I literally called off, I'm an idiot. Of course they're not going to respond to me, that's ridiculous. Yep, Road Dog even thinks so. I could have told you that was crazy. Not smart. Alright, Corey, what you got? Potential big news. Hey, hey, hey. What is it? Not air freshener. The mountain rain. Oh. The GMs might be coming down here. That is big. And I told you guys already in the first video. I'm ready to go to WWE. Um, I told y'all what my plan was. If I get the option, I am going to go to NXT. I want to start there first, because I love Mr. Regal, I love NXT 1.0, I'd love to start there and work my way up. So yet again, in the DMs, taking me to my next match. So yet again, I don't know if this is how the story is supposed to progress, just through social media. I mean, I know sometimes that's how it works with storylines in the wrestling world, but not each and every week. Oh, uh, it's been fun. I'll hey, admit that. Hey, here's some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. But what do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. 
All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, you mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here, so we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? Well, here's the thing. I already beat Danny Burch, who was Oni Lorcan's partner. Shinsuke Nakamura, I love to death. He is on SmackDown. And then you got Drew on Raw. This episode, I've beaten three legends, three Hall of Famers. Feeling pretty good about myself. So, I'm going to fight Drew, even though I still just want to end up in NXT. I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait! We almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, Remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. I like how my Thanks, guys. match my hair. I fought in my gear this whole episode, so it's not like that's gonna be any different from what you guys have seen thus far. But I am glad that y'all are getting a full episode of the Granola Hawk gear here. Oh, look, I can talk to Paragon J. Pierce, my favorite. I bet he's going to end up going wherever I go. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. Glad to know he hasn't changed. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? Taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. Seriously, he's going to face Show the GMs face. what they've been missing out on. That is absurd. I'm going to fight Drew McIntyre, and he's going to fight Ribby. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. That's right, you tell them, Granola Hall. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good, good luck, luck getting, getting a contract, a contract with whatever, whatever half-baked half decision, decision you, made. you made. I hope that if I choose to go to NXT, which I do, he will go elsewhere. I am so, so jacked, jacked for this, for this PC, PC showcase. showcase. I had, I had a, dream a dream last night that, that I beat Paragon and was signed, signed by Manny Rose, Rose to Raw. Raw. Man, 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 got crazy. crazy. Uh, but, but you you beating, beating Paragon, Paragon and getting, getting signed, signed to Raw wasn't, wasn't the crazy, crazy part. part. <laughs> no, no way, way, man. I can, I can do this. Guys, y'all might have to help me remember the pressure on. on. Really and besides, sad Mandy Rose all I need is one shot. shot. Because I just do not remember it. I remember Adam Pearce being over both shows for a very long time. You know, and Sonya Deville being there too. But I really don't remember Mandy being in a GM role. And she's fantastic as her role as the NXT Women's Champion now. Well, well I admire your confidence, confidence. And, and I, I hope, hope it works, works out, out that way. way. I look forward to when Toxic Attraction makes their debut on the main roster. Maybe, Maybe we'll, we'll end, end up, up on the same, same show. show. <laughs> That'd, That'd be, be sweet. sweet. Could even, could even ride, ride together, together, live together, live together work, work out, out together, together, eat together. I like Chase. I miss Hector. Though. I know. I mean, I he could, he do could do a lot of things together. 
All right, All right Will. Will. Good, good luck, luck in your, your match. match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go buy, buy a new suit, suit to impress the GMs, GMs specifically, specifically Mandy Rose. Rose. If, if our real life connection, connection is anything like, like it was, was in my dream, dream there's, there's gonna, gonna be fireworks when we meet. When we meet. Uh, not, not literally, literally like, like pyro, pyro or anything. Or anything. anything. I mean, I mean, like, like the, the romantic, romantic kind. kind. Oh, Lord, Chase, you've been dropped on your head a few too many times. Yeah, yeah I get, I it, get Chase. it, Chase. Good luck, Good luck with, with all that. that. All right, is it match time? See how I stack up against Drew. Hopefully I can take him. I don't want to lose. Because I'm afraid if I lose, I won't get any offers and I'll go back to training. I don't really want to do that. I'd like to have an offer from all three shows, but still, like I said, going to work my way up, going to start in NXT, make a name for myself there, hopefully, and then I'll probably make my way to Raw. I like both shows. I was big when SmackDown first came out, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, The Rock Show, etc., but Raw, and Raw's just the flagship. It has been forever. Oh, so Mandy Rose is gonna watch my match. I hope the other GMs are gonna watch it. I don't I don't just want to have the option of going to Raw and have that be it. So I'll be very upset with myself, but I didn't want to fight Oni when I had the opportunity to fight some bigger name guys. No offense to Oni, but I already showed you guys how I did against Danny Birch. So I wanted to give you something different. Yes, I hit it on time. I cannot believe it. I thought I was a little early. I'll take that all day long, though. Not gonna lie, I'm not disappointed that Mandy Rose is just in the corner, though, the whole match. I think if this was really me, I'd, I'd be a little distracted. I do like that yeah, yeah. attention to detail though that they're out here to scout me so they're literally here watching. Stump is good. Yes, sir. Do a power move and then let's pin him. See if it's a rope break. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Wanted to see where we were with him though. Throw him in the corner. Oh, there's Regal. So Regal is here. Good. I'm happy. I love Regal. One, two, two. Letting Regal go was one of the biggest mistakes that I think WWE has made. Regal is loved by the fans. His knowledge for the business is probably unmatched. I know for a fact that wasn't H's decision, because I know he loves Regal. All those PC kids love Regal. I apologize if I'm talking too much for you guys. But with there being no commentary right now, I felt like you needed to hear something. What are we doing here? Hey, yes, sir. Am I going to do my splash? Nope, I'm doing the elbow. Still missing though. Should have tried to escape. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Landed. Come on out here, Drew. I'm going to throw you in the barricade, and then I'm going to run back in the ring. And I'm a talk. <laughs> Count him, ref. Two. Three.
This is the first time I've done a comeback. I'll take it. Yes. Planted in there. Loved every second of that. Drop it. I'm do my signature now. I could have, but he blocked it. Uh, I had to figure Drew would be fairly difficult, not just a cakewalk. I must be short, because I would have sworn I'd have had the option to do a rope break there. A little late, the amount of punches are going to connect. I like how it doesn't say impress the GMs by winning your match, it just says try to impress the GMs by winning the future shot DDT. And Drew's ready, of course he is. There we go. Let's yes. What are we doing here? Yes, just drop him on the apron. I've got my finisher, which makes me happy. So we'll get in the ring. Be ready to finish him when he comes in. Pose for the people. Yeah. Come on, Drew. Four. Boom. Yeah. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted. Wow. One. Come on, get unstunned, please. He has done more damage to my head than I've done to his, which is really hard to believe. With all the moves, oh, Claymore's coming. And of course it hits it. One, two. Woo that was way too close. Way too close for yours truly. Mounted punches. I think I'm finally unstunned. Maybe. Still coming in way too late with everything. There we go. Finally got a reversal. I know I've got a finisher. I really want to be able to do a charge one though. There we go. Maybe this will be the end of Drew. My suplex stunner. I really like that move. All right, I will take it. So I have beaten three WWE Hall of Famers and a former WWE champion in Drew McIntyre in this episode. So a lot better after coming off of that initial loss to Paragon J. Pierce, your boy is undefeated. So very, very pleased. We'll see what they say here. Hopefully I'll get my chance to click and go to NXT. Let's talk to King Regal. I've heard, I've heard a lot about you, you and, you and you didn't disappoint, disappoint with your win over, over Drew McIntyre today. today. Without, Without being said, said I'd, I'd like, like to, to offer you the opportunity to sign, to sign with, with NXT. NXT. It, would it would be an, an honor. honor. In, In my, my opinion, opinion NXT, NXT is the top, top brand, brand in WWE, WWE and, and I'm, I'm only going to help, help make it stronger. I'm betting on that. And don't, and don't forget, forget to take a moment, moment to celebrate this achievement. achievement. You've, You've earned, earned it. it. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Regal. I, I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope, I hope not, not, but we'll, we'll find, find out soon, soon enough. enough. Oh, that makes me thrilled. So here we go. We're going to start on the career of the Granola Hawk. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you're enjoying this playthrough and watching the rise of the Granola Hawk in WWE. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to hear, you know, what I can do as the Granola Hawk. I'd love to hear from you guys. My favorite thing about this platform is the ability to comment and talk to each other. Thanks so much once more for tuning in. Look forward to seeing many, many more of y'all on the channel. 
subscribe, turn on those notifications so you never miss a Coker Culture episode. For today, that's it. We'll catch you next time. What's your why?